Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Gabriella. I make videos about astrology, self-care, uh, life as a theater actor, uh, life in Los Angeles, and anything else I feel like talking about. So if that sounds like your jam, hit subscribe and uh, click the notification bell so you know when I post. Today we're gonna jump back into my rising sign series and next up is Virgo rising because we are going backwards through the zodiac in order. It's a very special video today because I'm a Virgo rising, honey, okay? Take it all in, take it all in. We're cute, we're fabulous, we're anxious, all right? Get into it. Let's get into it, I am a Virgo rising. So uh, in terms of what a rising sign is, I'll just quickly go over it. It is the sign that was coming over the Eastern horizon when you were born. So it tells us about your first impressions to other people, your outward appearance, both your sort of vibe and your physical appearance, your features. Uh, how other people perceive you, how you present yourself to the world. It's your outer, if you think of rising ascendant, it's just kind of your outer surface. So uh, Virgo rising, they tend to have darker features. Earth signs, in, Earth signs in general tend to have darker features. Um, coarse, thick hair and eyebrows. Hey honey, these are not microbladed, okay? <laughs> so even if you're not someone, it doesn't have to be as dark of hair as I have. Actually, this is actually like three shades lighter than my real hair color, so my hair is really dark. But um, I'm also Mexican. Uh, so yes, Virgo rising, thick, coarse hair and eyebrows. Um, and I actually have a subscriber who I communicate with regularly and he was telling me about all of the totems that go along with the zodiac signs, which I didn't really even know. And Virgo rising is uh, an owl, or Virgo is an owl. So if you're Virgo rising, you kind of have an owlish vibe, which honestly, once he told me I looked like an owl, I can't really unsee it, but I also get it. And owls represent wisdom, uh, they're very shrewd hunters, they are logical, they uh, can be a little bit intimidating, they kind of have this look like they just know everything that's going on and they're calculating and that's very much Virgo rising besides just generally looking <clears throat> like an owl. They appear, their first impressions to other people are that they are smart. Uh, they have it all together. That's one thing a lot of Virgo Risings will hear and we just laugh because most of the time we absolutely don't. Uh, people can perceive us as control freaks or um, highly anxious, but not scrambled, okay? Not like a mess of a person, not just some kind of like hot mess, just kind of like anxious and always thinking about something. As a Virgo Rising, I have noticed that my resting face sometimes can become this in public. Concerned. Why am I concerned? Or if I'm on my phone, uh, you know, I'm not just looking on my phone like this. I'm looking like this. Why am I concerned? Okay, but Virgo Risings tend to look a bit anxious, a bit preoccupied, a bit in their heads, right? Other things about Virgo Rising is they can be highly into exercise and fitness. They are, uh, they tend to be into taking care of their bodies and that's kind of what they're known for and being a little obsessive. We're also list makers. We like to do programs. There's nothing more exciting to a Virgo rising than a like, oh, a, a, a two week fitness program and we're gonna walk you through what to eat and what to work out and da 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 da, how to do things or you know, those uh, 30 day journals, anything that gives us a plan and a, a, a layout and a blueprint that we can follow along, it is just music to our souls, okay? But the thing is, being anxious and being, you know, kind of occupied at times with diet and fitness, for me, it manifested in orthorexia uh, and, and struggles with binge eating and, and um, excessive, you know, exercise, restrictive dieting. So I'm not trying to say at all that astrology has anything to do with mental illness. Um, I, I'm absolutely not gonna promote that idea, but I will say if we're looking at it from an astrological point of view, I think Virgo influence in my chart made my anxiety and my control, need for control when I'm anxious, manifest in that way. But I do know a lot of other people, their anxiety manifests that way aside from their zodiac signs. But I'm just saying I have been one of those people, a Virgo rising, who's been very much obsessed with what I'm eating, when I'm working out, uh, you know, very, very strict and hard on myself. Um, that's another 
That's another point is that Virgo risings tend to be highly critical. They can come across as very judgmental to other people, kind of like, why are you, are you picking me apart right now or something like you are, they can be very critical, but also they're highly self-critical, which I'm not trying to get you to pity us because boo-hoo, but we are usually hardest on ourselves. And I've noticed when I, I can be very, very critical of others. You know, Virgo Risings can look at somebody or know somebody and think of a list of things that are wrong with them. And that's not really a, always a good place to live. But I know when I've operated like that, it's when I'm feeling really bad about myself and I'm really beating myself up. So if you're a Virgo Rising if you, or if you associate, uh, you know, you resonate with what I just said, kind of keep that in mind. Try to gauge where you are and, and how critical you are of others at any point. We do tend to analyze every little detail. We are big worriers, uh, worrying about every little detail, anticipating things that are not even realistic right now. Like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about a new job that I could be getting that could require me to move. And then I'm thinking, do I have to let go of this apartment? What do I do with Mochi? Well, what if it's a tour? Do I have to leave him with my parents? And how am I gonna, I just got a car, a new car. And what am I gonna do with the car? If I It's like, girl, you didn't even get the offer yet. Slow down. But Virgos are problem solvers. We're problem solvers. Uh, the Virgo energy and we're helpers. So on that note, Virgo rising is somebody that a lot of people come to for advice. They, they really think we've got it all together, even if we don't. They really think we're wise and that we have, you know, uh, something smart to say and some, some wisdom to impart, and people often come to us for advice. I know people with Virgo energy can be uh, martyrs. They can sometimes be people that people take a bit of advantage of because Virgo energy is helpful and feels really good about themselves when they're helping others. They can kind of uh, suffer in relationships and suffer in, in different dynamics because they're the ones that are okay, you know? Uh, or nobody really asks if they're okay, rather. Because again, we give this impression of everything is together, everything is good, I'm fine. I'm good. No, but I'm fine, it's whatever. That's, I noticed for years that's how I would respond to things and then when I started journaling, I refused to say things like, it's whatever, I'm fine if I wasn't. And I realized I wasn't fine about a lot of things and I was just saying I was because I, felt that that's what you have to do if life goes on, as if you can't feel emotions and still live your life. Um, so Virgo rising can also be a child or a sibling or a friend that people reach out to a little bit less in terms of, hey, are you doing okay? Uh, can I do anything for you? How's your mental health? Like, how are you feeling? What's going on in your life? Because of that impression that everything is always fine. Uh, sometimes kind of lonely being a Virgo rising. Virgo rising is a high productivity individual, okay? They, they really pride themselves on doing good work, efficiently, uh, doing things that matter, and they really don't like their time wasted or to be uh, underestimated. Time wasted, I suppose if they're helping someone, they could, they could be quite patient with that, but being underestimated or being uh, treated like they're not intelligent is well, it's quite rare because they come across as intelligent, but you know, they're, they're individuals that really take pride in doing, doing good work and making a difference in the world. They wanna feel like they really play, play a role in, in bettering this world. They're pretty good with teams traditionally, uh, but they might have strong personalities that people don't necessarily get along with. So they work quite efficiently alone and they're, they're just fine working alone. Me, personally, as a Virgo rising, I do not like working in groups. But I'm also a Leo, so I like things done my way. And I'm an Aquarius moon, so I'm kind of like, eh, go away, let me, just, let me just be in my little bubble. So all things go into it. You might enjoy groups or you might not, but... Most Virgo Risings, people with Virgo energy, can work pretty well in groups, but work very efficiently alone. Virgo Risings can actually be very shy as well. Totally, they can be a little bit socially uncomfortable. They're not always the person that's in the center of the room and, and excited about being everyone's center of attention. I'm a Leo, so you gotta remember that, I'm different. But a Virgo Rising, they can be quite, you know, subdued and just observing. And they don't mind doing that, you know? They, like, think of an owl. They just like observing, seeing what's going on, it makes them feel safe. A Virgo Rising can also struggle with intuition versus anxiety, which is something I've talked to a lot of friends about. Which is n not only exclusive to Virgo Risings, but it's the kind of feeling where 
okay, is this my intuition telling me that this isn't right or that something's wrong or I shouldn't do this or is that my anxiety? Because a lot of Virgo energy people struggle with major, major anxiety. It can also manifest in stomach aches because Virgo energy people have sensitive stomachs. I know when I get nervous, or when I get that gut feeling, I mean, it is a visceral, true gut feeling. I am like, my friends know, I say all the time, I'm gonna puke. And I don't actually throw up, but it is just this overwhelming feeling that's telling me you need to address something, okay? Either you're, you haven't eaten today, or there's a conversation, a conversation that you need to have with somebody, do it. Because it, it is like unavoidable, bleh, Virgo Risings often strive for perfection. They can be perfectionists. Uh, that's why they can come across as perfect. Uh, Appearance-wise, work-wise, life-wise, they just have everything together. They are clean cut and they've got nice clothes and nice hair and everything is together uh, because they strive for that perfection and they do enjoy being seen as perfect. It takes a lot of work, <laughs> but they can also be the kind to push too hard, to really push themselves, they can kind of be, not everyone talks about it, but they can be quite competitive because they see themselves as very smart and very capable, and so they want to prove that. And if there's someone else that's doing something better than them, they're like, I can do that, I can do it better and faster, let's go. And they can really, really push themselves to the point of maybe being unhealthy or maybe having a, a poor work-life balance or, or any other kind of balance in their life. In terms of appearance, we'll talk a little more about that. They. Uh, definitely come across as wise, but not in a smoldering, dark, uh, intense kind of Scorpio rising way. Virgo rising still have a sweet innocence about them, Virgo the Virgin. Uh, it also depends on the other the other aspects in the chart and you know the sun sign that would color the the rising sign that way and we'll talk about that in a second but in terms of style I do have videos all about that fashion and what to wear for your sign but quickly I'm wearing a pretty Virgo rising outfit right now it's just a simple cashmere sweater in a natural color and my hair is you know nice and clean and shiny my makeup is simple it's a very virgo rising look it is very uh becoming of a virgo rising to wear natural textures natural fabrics natural colors in the makeup uh you know jewelry and things like that and keep the hair natural anything like that now i'm a virgo rising and i've had pink hair bleach blonde hair crazy half shaved pixie cut uh i wear crazy clothes but i think I think of Virgo rising, they're, we're so into detail that if we decide that that's gonna be our look, we nail it from head to toe. So a Virgo rising is not the type to generally be able to pull off no makeup, no hair done, a wrinkled t-shirt tucked into some jeans with some docks. It's, you know, and, and just like ripped. Um, it's, it would kind of make them look sloppy or something would look off. Unlike, you know, with a Pisces rising, they are more, able to pull off looks like that artistic and sloppy it can really look so cool on some people but for me i really i don't get much respect or attention when i go out dressed like that i don't know it's really weird so if a virgo rising is going to do a look they do it head to toe every little detail uh so you know they're going to do the rock makeup and the hair and the clothes but the clothes are going to be clean the clothes are not going to be stained and wrinkled if they want to pull off the look Sloppiness is not something that I would ever associate with a Virgo rising. I love big comfy clothes, but I know that they're not most becoming on me. I know I look better with tight fitted things and uh, things with a little bit more of a classic vibe. Uh, if you think about Dolly Parton, surprise, she's a Virgo rising, yes. But she has her look head to toe. It's very thought out. It's, it's, it's very uh, well, um, executed there's nothing like i'm gonna half i'm gonna half ass this you know what i mean she goes all out virgo risings tend to have wider hips we just talked about dolly parton like oh virgo risings are you know lower body heavy and it's like okay well you can make alterations to that but they tend to have wider hips they're quite a feminine sign and even men virgo rising men i've noticed they gain a little weight in the love handle area and the hip and booty area again they look great in classic clean and neutral looks i always think of uh, French French girl style when I think of Virgo rising right natural hair close to your natural color um, Classic silhouettes nothing too trendy nothing to like look at me right now 
no makeup that is too harsh or overdone. Uh, and Virgo Risings also look really nice with their hair off of their face, something really clean. I also think of just someone in like a, a field, you know, I think of sort of this pioneer vibe. No, it's not really bohemian, it's like cleaner than that, or like south of France back in the day in some lavender fields. White blouses are big for Virgo Rising, a white button down, goodbye. Like we can rock it like nobody's business. So let's talk about some celebrity Virgo Risings before we wrap up. Tom Hanks. Love Tom Hanks. People say Virgo Risings have squinty eyes. I don't really know where that comes from and I also don't think that's a very nice thing to say in videos like you've got small beady eyes. But I can sort of see after looking at the celebrities I can kind of see yes our eyes are not giant doe eyes like maybe some water signs are. So yeah I think there more is there's a focus to the eyes. There's a thoughtfulness like we're we're calculating something. I think I'll, I'll, we have calculating eyes. I'll say it that way. Tom Hanks definitely has calculating eyes, but he has sparkly sweet eyes. There's something kind and warm and inviting about him. If you saw him on the street, even if he weren't famous Tom Hanks, as a man, I'd probably still feel comfortable going up to him asking him for help if I needed it. He just has this warm inviting energy, but he seems really smart and like he's got everything together. Uh, Dave Navarro is another example of, of the head to toe Virgo look. He is, you know, he's got those intense eyes. He comes across like there's something he's got to say when he speaks, you listen, and he rocks the look head to toe of the, the kind of persona he's, he's, he's exuding. Uh, and that's why I think it works for him. Now if we look at Kurt Cobain who was a Virgo rising, he's a Pisces. And this is why I think he can rock the very messy unkempt look because Pisces is like the king of that. They're kind of like a little bit messy and like bleh in their lives and in their style they can really rock it. Anything bohemian, anything undone, ripped, st like uh, not stained but you know like bleach spots and things like that, unkempt hair, they can really really rock that. So I think Kurt Cobain has has a lot of that Pisces energy, absolutely, especially as an artist, but something still, he kept it simple. He wasn't extremely adorned, even though he was like the world's biggest rock star at a time. He wasn't interested in like a gajillion different like chain things and jewelry and crazy like heavy makeup and big jackets and look at me. He still had this simplicity, almost a boyishness about him, a youthfulness, which Virgo Rising really brings out. Emma Watson, great example of a Virgo rising. I mean like to a T. She is clean cut. She, look at her, uh, her pixie cut just is absolutely fantastic. But she has those sweet, warm, inviting eyes but she looks so smart. Like she just looks like, didn't she go to, she went to Brown or something, right? I don't know, anyway, she looks like she is just an educated woman who is gonna, who probably knows a lot more than you. Like I look at her and I'm like, who? I, don't know if I could keep up in a conversation with you. Like, I, and I don't know why. Virgo Risings can just make you feel like, I'm not as smart as you. It's really crazy. Um, and she has that warmth to her uh, complexion, and she's got really incredible eyebrows for her complexion. So she's a great example of a Virgo Rising. She keeps her style quite classic. Keanu Reeves is a Virgo with a Virgo Rising. Honey, he is like the most Virgo man I have ever seen. He almost looks like bionic. He looks so perfect. He just looks like his house smells like Clorox. He looks like he smells like Clorox. He looks like he is just so clean and like his war his his closet is perfect and his shoes are perfect and he has this very set skincare like there are all these things that when I look at Keanu Reeves I have this impression of and it's all Virgo rising sort of things like he's got it all together he's smart he could probably school me you know but he still looks uh we still love him he he doesn't look entirely cold you know what I mean he looks contemplative and a little serious and he's you know, in his own way, a little mysterious, but he doesn't look cold to the point of like, ooh, you're giving me weird vibes. There's still a warmth to him and we want to help him and we want him to just wrap his arms around us and tell us everything's going to be okay. So Keanu Reeves, Virgo with a Virgo rising. He's like, I mean, he's a great example. Audrey Totu, who was in uh, Amélie, she's a French actress. She has an amazing sense of style. She is like every, every American girl's definition of like, oh, I want to be a French girl, I'm going to be like Amélie. And she rocks the short hair, but she also looks 
like a smoke show in other movies I've seen her where they like glam her up oh my goodness but it's all classic stuff and in the end she looks best when she's simplified there's one movie I saw where she sort of plays like a sugar baby and she's all glam and she looks like a smoke show but then she gets a little more simple and you see her a little more in her natural state and it is just she's just mesmerizing and I believe we have the same Sun moon and rising Brooke Shields those eyebrows enough said Rachel Bilson is a Virgo with a Virgo rising. So look at her, like you, you, she looks like you would meet her at, you know, volunteering at the animal shelter. And she just like knows all the animals and knows, and she'll help you out. Like she just looks like a helper, like a kind person, but she looks smart. She is one of those like Hollywood it girls or whatever, but they're, she's never seemed vapid to me. Also, my brother worked with her. He was on Heart of Dixie, which is kind of a fun fact. But yeah, she's a Virgo with a Virgo rising. And y'all, I thought I was gonna make this a really short video and somehow it's still long. So I'm gonna wrap it up. That was my Virgo Rising video. I hope you got something out of it. Comment down below what you think of when you think of Virgo Rising or how you are as a Virgo Rising. And uh, I will talk to you in my next video. All my social media will be below. Love you guys very much. Have a great one. See you next time. Mwah. Bye guys.